I am Jessica Cartalia. Coming up this afternoon on WJZ, a suspect is shot and wounded by a Baltimore County police officer this morning in Rosedale. The officer responded to a shoplifting call and spotted the suspected getaway vehicle. Police say the driver drove at the officer who opened fire, wounding a passenger. The officer was not hurt. The suspect who was shot is hospitalized and the driver was arrested. WJZ is following the incident and we'll have much more this afternoon. Anne Arundel County Police say the suspected Capital Gazette newspaper gunman Jared Ramos mailed three threatening letters before last week's shooting. One was sent to the paper's former attorney, one to Maryland's Court of Special Appeals, and a third to a Baltimore City judge. In one letter, Ramos claims he planned to go to the Capital Gazette with the objective of, quote, killing every person present. The latest on the investigation today on WJZ. A third straight day of extreme heat and humidity, once again making it feel like it's more than 100 degrees outside. People are being told to take it easy and to hydrate. And let's get an update on the forecast with Meg McNamara. Meg. Hi, Jess. Well, yes, it's already feeling like 106 degrees and we have a ways to go. So I think headed for the upper 90s, we're already at 95 and we have pretty solid sunshine out there. There is a chance for some isolated storms tonight. We'll cool down eventually to right around 74 degrees, so still going to be muggy later on tonight. Wednesday, Independence Day, headed to 90. So yes, it will be hot and sticky, but not as intense as what we've been dealing with today. By Thursday, we're talking upper 80s. Friday, storms are likely, including some strong winds possible and some heavy rain. But you'll notice we quiet out by the weekend and get a little bit of a refreshing cool down with highs near 80. Jess? Make thanks. Check in with WJZ this afternoon for the updated forecast and all of today's developing stories.